Welcome back to Undisturbed. This is your host, Kyle Engler. This podcast is presented by Life Creative Works. And today we're going to have on Buffalo Bulls running back Jared Patterson. Now, Jared last year rushed for a Buffalo Bulls se- single season record, 1,799 yards. Uh, that was in the sophomore season, his freshman season. He was the first Bull to run for 1,000 yards in this freshman season. Going to be talking to him about the Bulls and about everything that's been going on uh, in terms of, you know, his career and, you know, where he projects to see himself in next year. Uh, going into the season as, you know, one of the favorites just for, you know, Mac Player of the Year and, you know, just all the awards out there for running backs and for the Bulls themselves. And, yeah, we're just going to be giving him a call now and we're just going to, you know, get going and talk about him. How's it going, Jared? How's it going? Good. Yeah. So you know, welcome to the show, and you know, if you're ready, uh, we can just get right into it. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. So I just wanted to ask you, you know, obviously with everything that's been going on, you know, it's nice that you guys, uh, you know, aren't playing, you know, with all this going on. But in terms of you know the on the field stuff, you know, last year obviously having a great season. Uh, in terms of, you know, just eye-popping stats, you know, throughout the whole season, and, you know, really, you know, carrying, you know, and doing, you know, more than just your part on the offensive side of the ball for the Buffalo Bulls. I mean, what was last season like for you in terms of, you know, how how did you find so much success? I mean, obviously, I'm sure it was the scheme and, you know, getting more attempts than you did your freshman season, but, you know, what else led to that success for you personally uh, in the offense last year? Um. Really, uh, last year, just winning the first bowl game, the school history was huge, you know, and just uh, you know, having that jump from freshman to sophomore year was, was also huge, you know. I think it, it really uh, started up front with, with, with my great officer linemen, you know, they they, they really uh, really solidified themselves as being a top officer line unit, not just in our conference, but in, in, the, in the country, you know. And just uh, my coaches just believed in, in me, and just uh, give me opportunities, you know, to make plays and just capitalize on opportunities when, when they're given to me. And, you know, going through, you know, everything in terms of your rushing and receiving, obviously, you know, breaking over 2,000 yards last year from uh, the scrimmage line, for you, you know, having so much production, obviously you did it in high school just reading up on your stats and everything. How, I mean, do you condition yourself in terms of, you know, being able to, you know, be such a workhorse in the on the offensive side of the ball, just in terms of you know the production and the amount of plays and attempts you get, I mean, what's it like for you to you know do that you know every single week, and you know how do you you know kind of recover from that and maintain uh, the body shape that you're in to stay successful all season? Uh, it just really starts uh, you know from the weight room, you know how, how I take care of my body, you know my diet, you know to be to be an elite athlete, you have to uh, take to care of all those three things, you know, uh, you know, all those three things play, play hand in hand, you know, take care of your body, you know, working hard in the weight room, you know, having a good diet, it, uh, it, uh, it comes along, it, uh, it comes along, what well, goes a long way, you know, and just, it's really just, you know, plan every play like, like it could be my last, you know, that's how I have that mindset, you know, don't, 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 uh, you know, take the game for granted, you know, like this situation we're in right now, you know, it makes me even more, more, more grateful, you know, you know, more hungrier just to get back, you know, with my teammates and get back on the field to play in the game I love. And, you know, going through that, obviously you mentioned, you know, winning uh, the Bahamas Bowl last year in terms of the team's success. I just wanted to ask you, you know, getting that first bowl win last year for the program and looking to 2020 in terms of, you know, your junior season coming up. What's it going to be like for you, you know, coming off of a big season, you know, personally and, you know, for the whole entire team? I mean, how are you going to project, you know, yourself and the team going into next year? I mean, what are the expectations that you guys have, uh, not only for yourself, but, you know, for the entire team? Uh, really, you know, we have a lot of talent coming back, you know, uh, uh, you know, and we know that. We know that we bring a lot of guys back. And just really, you know, just taking them one day at a time, you know, working hard toward, towards our goals, our goals we have, you know, on, on this season coming up. And just, you know, just taking it through, just like I said, just taking them one day at a time, not, not really looking 
too far ahead, you know, because there are a lot of things, you know, the team and and myself, you know, could could definitely improve on. It could and could uh, you know get better, better at. Could have got better at last year. That we can get better at this season. Now, just, you know, reading up about you, I noticed that, you know, you have a brother on the team. I mean, how cool is that for, you know, you both to be able to, you know, play on the same team, you know, I'm sure your whole life, and then, you know, also go to college and play together. I mean, that's got to be pretty cool in terms of, you know, being by each other's side, you know, for so long and, you know, throughout your whole career, you know, even, you know, getting to both go to college to play the game that I'm sure you both love. How cool is it to have your brother, uh, you know, on the team and, you know, around, uh, you know, all the time as... You know, I'm sure you guys, uh, you know, bond all the time in terms of, you know, on and off the field, uh, you know, your whole life. Uh, you know, it's huge, you know, uh, you know, going through the uh, recruitment process in high school, you know, he had a lot of different offers than me, you know, and, and UB, you know, offer uh, both of us, you know, that was one of the a few offers we had in common, you know, just that, and University of Buffalo has given us that, uh, you know, that opportunity to play together. I knew that was a goal from ours from, from the get-go. And it's just really something special, you know, something you really just, like I said, you got to take it in, you know, one day at a time, you know, and really enjoy the ride and the process, you know, because it's, it's just the beginning for 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 us and, and, and the team and just really trying to, uh, you know, make this into a new program that, uh, you know, other other high school prospects will talk about the University of Buffalo and, and others to come. Awesome, yeah. So, you know, just, you know, both being, you know, two of the main, you know, forefronts on the team and, you know, going into your junior season now, obviously, you know, your first two seasons, you know, being one of the newer guys on the team, going into junior year, how are you going to try to take more of a leadership uh, kind of institute into yourself uh, to, you know, help out the younger guys? Now, since, you know, going into your junior season, you're on the latter part of your college career. I mean, is there anything in particular that, you know, you're going to try to, you know, instill in the younger guys, you know, coming into a big season uh, for the entire program? I uh, just really, uh, you know, really uh, telling the younger guys, you know, don't wait, don't wait, you know, until the junior year, you know, take every every opportunity given to you, you know, like it's your last, you know, and you know, it goes by fast, and just really just helping the young guys with whatever they need, you know, I'm I'm a resource, you know, for them, I'm I'm there for for them, you know, I'm here there for this to make the team better, to make the people around me better, just to just to lead, to to elevate uh, the program. And, you know, elevating the program, you know, just looking at, you know, the upcoming schedule for you guys next year, you know, having, you know, the first two out of three weeks, you know, having two, you know, pretty high profile games, uh, you know, and getting more attention, you know, for the program with these high games uh, in terms of, you know, playing, you know, nationally, you know, ranked teams. For you, you know, going through that, you know, getting the opportunity to play against these teams that, you know, aren't in, you know, the same conference as you guys. I mean, how much more excited in terms of, you know, I'm sure you're excited for every game, but, you know, I'm sure you have to, you know, circle those games on the calendar just to, you know, kind of go out there and prove that, you know, you can hang with uh, kind of the big name teams in college football and, you know, show that you guys belong on the bigger stages and, you know, in bowl games uh, more consistently for the entire program. Yeah, definitely, man. You definitely get, get more, more juiced up, more excited, you know, to me, then, then you know, I don't really get caught up on on the big names, you know. But that definitely puts a chip on on, on a lot of guys' shoulders, you know, my shoulders, you know, because that's we're playing against the, the schools that overlooked us, you know. And like you said, when you when you, when you get a chance to uh, play teams like like we played this year, like old the old states, you know, Kansas, we played Kansas State first, you know, you, you definitely want to want to want to want to you know you know show show that you can you can play with with the, with the big dogs and play with anybody in the nation. Yeah, and, you know, just last year, you know, just something I have to ask uh, in terms of, you know, a single game that you played last year, rushing for 298 yards uh, and six touchdowns against Bowling Green, you know, obviously, you know, those stats almost look, you know, impossible uh, to, you know, do in one game. It almost looks like, you know, it's a three-game uh, compiled together. For you, you know, having so much production in one particular game like that and showing how much, you know, productivity you can have and, you know, just based on the amount of attempts and rushes you've had, going through a game like that, I mean, how much does that wear and tear on your body in terms of, you know, going through that whole process and rushing for so many yards, but also, you know, all those attempts, you know, I'm sure how to add up by the end of the game uh, in terms of, you know, just a wear and tear on your body 
uh, just, you know, having so much, you know, put on your shoulders in one game, let alone, you know, probably for most guys, that's three, four, five games uh, rushing. Um, you know, it's a lot, you know, I feel like, um, you know, I'm mature enough to handle that. You know, I, I go, I go about my day, you know, like, like I'm a pro, you know, our, our coaching staff always tell, tells us, you know, at, at the University of Buffalo, you know, be, be a pro, you know, and I, and, and I, and I take pride in doing that on or off the field, you know, whether it's in the classroom, whether, you know, it's in the treatment room, whether it's in the weight room, you know, whether, whatever I'm doing, you know, it definitely takes, definitely takes a toll. You know, if anything was told your body, I'm not, I, I, I wouldn't, uh, I'd be lying if I, if, I, if I didn't say it didn't. But, you know, it just comes comes with the game. You just got to, uh, you know, take care of your body, you know, and just do, do, do the best you can. And, you know, just really, just really, like I said, just really take care of your body. Yeah. You know, and that's definitely, definitely, definitely a lot, a lot. Yeah, and, you know, being, you know, one of more, you know, shifty running backs in terms of, you know, your running style, I wanted to ask you, you know, being, you know, maybe one of the, you know, shorter running backs, you know, in the conference, but, you know, having more shiftiness in all of them and obviously, you know, being able to explode through, you know, all the gaps and, you know, have the speed to, you know, blow by guys. For you, I mean, is it something that, you know, just looking at, you know, kind of your body frame where, you know, you want to be, you know, maybe someone that, you know, is able to, you know, catch and run the ball. Obviously, you know, you improved on, you know, both last year, but, you know, having, you know, a pretty decent chunk of receiving yards also, I mean, is that something that going in the last season uh, you were kind of working on and, you know, trying to get more temps at, showing your versatility, uh, that for not only for yourself, but for the entire offensive side of the ball? Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, I, I try to uh, improve every aspect of my game, you know, just to, just to, just to show, you know, people, I'm just not, I'm not, you know, one, a one, you know, versatile type back, you know, I'm, I am versatile, I'm balanced, you know, I can, I can do it all, you know, I, I really, you know, like you said, I really, you know, take pride, you know, and just improve my game all around, you know, just showing people I can catch, you know, I can block, you know, I, I just, I just don't, I just don't run the ball, I can do several other, other things. Yeah, and, you know, just looking back at your freshman year, I wanted to ask you, you know, not getting the many attempts I'm sure you wanted to get, but, you know, making the most of them, you know, your freshman season, you know, not many guys, you know, come into a program and have the success that you had at such an early age. I mean, just not even for freshman, you're just in, you know, your total game. How confident are you, you know, in yourself? Because it shows, you know, just based on your stats that you've, you know, it always seems like you've been confident, uh, you know, no matter what level or, you know, what age you've been. I mean, how's it been going for you in terms of, you know, kind of the mental side of the game uh, for you personally as you go through, you know, coming into your junior season and, you know, having the success that you already had? I mean, is there anything mentally that you do to prepare for yourself uh, as you go into games uh, just based on your kind of accomplishments thus far? Uh, you know, I, I don't really I don't really think about it too much, you know. Uh, I'm just playing. I'm, I'm playing the game I love. You know, I've been playing this game. You know, since, you know, I was a little kid, you know, and just really just uh, coming in that freshman year, you know, with other, you know, great, great football players around me, you know, just, I just wanted, just wanted to contribute the best way I can. And I just really, whatever opportunity uh, the coaches gave me, I was going to take advantage of it, whether it be on offense or special teams, whatever, you know, um, that's just my, my mindset going to anything. Whatever, whatever, whatever thing you throw at me, I'm, 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 whatever task you throw at me, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna accept the task and, and just try to master it, master it, and just keep, keep working. And you know, going into you know next season, you know, we talked about the schedule, but in terms of, you know, kind of the team mindset and your mindset, I mean, what's something that you're focusing on in terms of your own game? Uh, going into next season that you're really trying to, you know, hammer on and improve on? Because obviously, you know, you've had so much success thus far and, you know, you've broken tons of records and everything. But, I mean, what are you trying to do to, you know, take your game to the next level, you know, be better than, you know, being, you know, better than last year and better than your freshman season and, you know, really building on the success that, you know, you've had uh, already in college football that most guys haven't? Uh, just, just really put it all together, you know, um, you know, first two seasons has, 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 you know, been great, you know. Um, you know, uh, freshman year, one of the most uh, school games, one of the most games in school history. You know, uh, second year, won the first, you know, bowl game in school history. 
and just really, you know, getting winning the match championship, you know, bring the championship back to University of Buffalo, you know, I think that would be definitely huge for this uh, university. And just really putting it all together, you know. Uh, the first two seasons, they were great, but I still have a lot of things to improve on. I'm still not satisfied. You know, I go back and watch, you know, film from, from those first two seasons, and I still have a lot of work to do. And, that, that, and I feel like that that's what keeps me going, you know, just being – just being overlooked, you know. Just I want I want I want to be considered one of the best best in, in the country, not just in the MAC conference, but in the country. And you know, going into you know next season, and you know every season that you've been a part of, and every game that you've been a part of, are you someone who looks at the film aspect of it a lot in terms of you know? trying to, you know, maybe decide on, you know, maybe a better gap to choose here or there on different plays or, you know, just looking back on how you ran the ball in other games against other opponents or maybe watching to, you know, just see how the defense reacts to, you know, how the take and handle the rush. I mean, is it something that you, you know, put a lot of time into or are you more of an on-the-field type of guy and, you know, kind of reacting to, you know, what's being given to you right in front of you and going from there? Or, you know, are you someone who has a balance of both uh, on the field uh, kind of, you know, trusting yourself, but also, you know, making sure you're prepared on, you know, the film side of it so you know and you can try to plan for what's coming your way? Uh, I'd say both, but more on the preparation side. You know, preparation is key. You know, just you really got to be, you know, uh, a student of the game. You know, uh, yes, of course, I, w- I watch myself, but, you know, you got to watch others at your position to see, you know, to see what they did, what, what they did right, you know. Also, how how you know if, if you was in, like how how would you hit 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 the gap, you know, or, or how how would you do, block that person or or something like that, you know. You just got you just can't watch yourself. You got to watch everybody that's in your position and just really study the you know the study of the great, you know, the great the greats that played your position and stuff like that. You really got to be a student of the game to really you know uh, to really you know succeed. Yeah, and, you know, just everything, you know, that you've been going through in terms of, you know, your play style and, you know, how, you know, you were probably overlooked just in terms of, you know, just showing, you know, how much production you can have in, you know, an offense uh, in college football. I mean, what's something, you know, besides the off the field stuff that motivates you to, you know, keep on, you know, training every day and, you know, preparing for every game. I mean, is there anything that really, you know, pops out in your head that, you know, really, you know, kind of gives you that extra boost and drive to, you know, work hard every day and, you know, show everyone, you know, kind of your skill set uh, every Saturday when it comes to September? Well, just really, uh, just college coaches saying that I was too small yeah. to play, you know, in, the, in, 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 you know, power five conferences, you know, such as, you know the Big Ten, you know ACC, you know you you name it. That that I feel like that's what you know keeps me going. You know just got that chip on my shoulder, and it just grows bigger and bigger, and it just keep keeps me keeps me going. You know bring 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 that fuel. Yeah, and you know just looking, you know obviously freshman season, you guys had an awesome season, uh, and then kind of you know slipped up at the end in a game here or there, and you know last season having a good season. I mean, just going into this season, I know I asked you, you know, your personal, uh, you know, what you're looking forward to next season, but, you know, for the entire team, uh, you know, I know you mentioned you have a lot of guys coming back. I mean, how good do you think this team could be in 2020 in terms of uh, the win-loss success and, you know, the way you guys are going to play uh, just for your head coach and for the entire program of the University of Buffalo? Uh, this team can be, you know, really special, you know, um, we really good. We bring a, a lot of guys back, you know. And I'm just, I'm very excited for the season, you know. Um, you know, it can be it can be a special year, you know, for for the University of Buffalo, you know. But really, to really just lock in, just, just, just believe that, and just just work hard, you know. You know, we, we, we you know, and it, it is crazy, you know. We, we're going through obstacle right now. I feel like that that's going that's going to really make this team, you know, come together even more. Once we get back and really hit hit the ground running. Awesome, yeah. So you know we're coming to the end. So I just wanted to ask you a few, few uh, you know, rapid fire uh, questions. You know, nothing serious. More of you know, uh, just you know, kind of you know, personal questions of yours. The first one I wanted to ask you was, for you, I mean, what's been your favorite memory thus far in terms of you know your career at the University of Buffalo? You know, on the field in terms of maybe a specific game 
or you know really anything that sticks out to you uh, playing there? Uh, probably just you know the the locker room, you know all the all the all the funny stuff that happens in the locker room with, with my teammates. That's really you know the best the best memories I have, you know, and will always have, you know, when I, when I think about think about the University of Buffalo. For you, I wanted to ask you, I mentioned your brother before, uh, plays linebacker. Uh, he's had great success also. I wanted to ask you, what do you think is more likely to happen uh, and which would be a better scenario? If you tried to play his position and you guys switched, or would he play a better running back and then you would play a better uh, linebacker? I mean, who do you think could you know switch up the positions uh, a little better? <laughs> Uh, probably he probably he probably you know uh, he probably he'd be a decent running back probably I I probably give it to him you know. All right. And in terms of, you know, your speed and shiftiness, you know, just watching some of your highlights and everything, and obviously, you know, being uh, you know, one of the best running backs not only in the conference, as you mentioned before, but you know, having one of the best seasons last year in all of college football, I wanted to ask you in terms of maybe the notoriety, I mean, has it been, you know, getting crazy in terms of, you know, getting more notice and, you know, maybe a little more people in terms of, you know, recognizing and, you know, seeing your talent for, you know, what you've only always uh, believed in yourself in? Uh, not really. You know, I really don't pay attention to it, you know. I don't even feel like, feel like, I feel still, I still feel like I still have a lot to prove, you know. I still feel like I haven't did, did anything yet, you know. I still, I still, I'm still hungry. I still, I still got to still got to get it, you know, yeah. I don't really, I don't, you know, I don't really pay attention to, to that stuff, you know, I just, I feel like, I don't, I, I don't, I won't, I won't stop until I'm considered, like, not, well, I'm not, I won't stop until I'm considered the best right back in the country. In terms of, you know, just looking at, you know, some of the notable alumni from the University of Buffalo, you know, obviously someone that sticks out in the football realm of things is Khalil Mack, so I wanted to ask you, if you ever had a chance to, you know, maybe hit the same gap as him, do you think you could overpower him and truck over him at the one yard line, or do you think he would be able to take you down? Oh yeah, one yard line. I'm getting in the end zone. You're getting in the end zone. I'm getting in the end zone. Awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, have you ever had a chance to talk to him just about, you know, the process that he went through at the University of Buffalo? Obviously, it's been a few years since he's been there, but is that someone who you can? Obviously, you know, you're one of the veterans now, but when you were young and all the success you've had, I mean, is it someone who you've been able to talk to maybe, you know, once or twice just to, you know, get his input on, you know, the game, not only at the college level, but the professional level? Well, yeah, it's crazy you even miss it, Khalil Mack, because I remember, I met Khalil Mack back in, back in high school, you know, when, oh, wow. when he was doing, when uh, he was in the draft, you know, my, uh, one of my former high school coaches with UB, that's how I really got really connected with uh, University of Buffalo. And uh, he brought Kilo Mac to the to, to our school, and I met him before for like you know the combine and stuff yeah. like that. And ever since, you know, every time he he comes up, you know, summer times, uh, you know, cause you see him sometimes working out stuff like that. You know, just, just talking to him. You know, definitely we talked a few times. You know, his, his uh, younger brother Darius Mack, you know, just just graduated. You know, uh, from UB, he played his last his last. Uh, he with us. He had a great, amazing season, you know. So I, I see him every every once in a while, you know, catch up with him, chat with him. But he's definitely, definitely someone, you know. I want to be, I want to be mentioned with, you know, when, when it's all said and done for me at the University of Buffalo. That's that definitely would be a great honor, you know, definitely. Awesome. For you, I wanted to ask also, you know, we've talked, you know, the, the entire podcast about, you know, football and everything, but I wanted to ask you too, you know, the off the field stuff. I mean, is there anything that, you know, you take an interest in, you know, maybe uh, in terms of, you know, classes or maybe, you know, a fond memory that you have off the field, uh, maybe in the classroom or just, you know, maybe a club or anything? I mean, just kind of the University of Buffalo culture outside of per se football. Uh, you know, the University of Buffalo is a very, you know, diverse campus. You know, just really the people. The people up there are really, you know, really nice and just friendly. You know, they grow up, they love their sports up there. You know, even, you know, we might not have the biggest fan base, but they really they really embrace sports up there. And just that just that feeling, you're at home, you know, I just always, always remember that. Awesome. And, you know, one final question I wanted to ask you was in terms of, you know, having the success that we've been mentioning thus far 
And, you know, I know it's at least over a year away for you potentially, but is there any, you know, kind of consideration for yourself and, you know, maybe giving, you know, the NFL draft a try per se, if you have another great season, like you've had the past two seasons going into your junior season, if you were able to, you know, capitalize on another great season, is that something that you would do? And, you know, maybe consider in terms of entering uh, rather than foregoing your last season of eligibility uh, in terms of, you know, your playing uh, professionally? Um, I mean, it's really hard to say. You know, I really, like I said, I really don't worry about that. You know, I just, I let, I let, I let, I let the man above, you know, decide that, you know, God, I really, I really have, you know, like I said, I really, I really, it's really hard to say. I just trust in God. He leads me to this right path. You know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm just focused on my, my junior year. Now, obviously, final question for you, you know, you put a lot of time and effort and hard work into, you know, the sport of football, uh, I'm sure every day, but is there any other hobby outside of, you know, football that people should know about you? I mean, is there anything that, you know, people should know about you that, you know, we maybe don't yet in terms of, you know, a hobby or, you know, something you like to do uh, outside of the game that, you know, really maybe, you know, connect people with you uh, on a more personal level? You know, um, you know, I like to hang with friends, you know, I like to play the video game, you know, probably about to play Call of Duty after this call. Call of Duty. But, you All know, right. just, just, just really, you know, laid back person, you know, just like to, like I said, like to hang with friends and family and just, you know, sometimes playing the game. That, that's really, that's really much it. Awesome. Yeah, so I just wanted to thank you for coming on, Jared. Obviously, you know, it's been a pleasure to talk to you and, you know, hear your story and, you know, just you know, talk to you about all the success that you've had thus far. So I just wanted to wish you the best going into next season, uh, your junior season, and, you know, hoping that you build off of, you know, two great seasons thus far. Uh, you know, stay healthy, you know, through everything that's been going on. Uh, you know, it's been crazy out there. Uh, I'm sure everyone's staying home uh, where you are. So just thanks for coming on again. Uh, we wish you all the best. And, you know, just thanks for coming on again and talking to us. All right, thanks for having me. All right, thanks, Jared. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, best of luck this upcoming season. Hopefully, you know, we'll see you on the field, uh, you know, come September. And, you know, we wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, so that was Jared Patterson of the University of Buffalo Bulls. Great to talk to him. Obviously, uh, having over 2,000 yards from scrimmage last year, one of the best running backs in all of college football. Uh, it's kind of been uh, mentioned already uh, multiple times. Uh, throughout the country and the news media just being a top 50 player in the country just with all the production that he's been able to endure and have in two seasons at Buffalo so it's really great to talk to him obviously one of the under the radar players and you know a sleeper for the 2021 NFL draft uh, I mean if he was doing this in a power five conference I mean he would already be a first round pick uh, projected just with the amount of attempts and success he's had her attempt uh it's really amazing to see what he's done so just thanks for jared for coming on great hearing from him great talking to him we wish the whole uh, university of buffalo uh and the bulls a great 2020 season upcoming uh so yeah just thanks for listening to us again at undisturbed uh, another episode another great episode another great person to talk to a very humble person so just thanks for jared for coming on uh, it's really cool to, you know, hear another, you know, untold story that maybe people should start recognizing a little bit more uh, for Jared. So, you know, just thanks for listening to us talk and we wish you all the best and, you know, stay safe out there uh, through all this uh, pandemic. So, yep. And, you know, just again, thanks for listening and taking the time to hear some of the, uh, I almost said the competitor talk, but it is undisturbed now. So just thanks for listening to Undisturbed. Uh, I really appreciate it. And we really appreciate all the love and support we've been given thus far. So just thanks for everyone out there and have a good one.